Hello, people, it's Poet, and we're playing Better Than Wolves. Now, I am quite high up, aren't I? Well, that's because we finished working on something, and you can see something down there, too. I started work on a little bit of a kind of a chest room. Uh, it's going okay. I, I haven't decided on a roof yet. Uh, I have some ideas. Uh, maybe a pyramid style, maybe just kind of a a cross hatch pattern with half slabs but we'll see I, I'll do a roof yet um, now one thing that I should show you is this pretty incredible isn't it it's a little bit high up but uh, it suits its purpose quite well and I'll be uh, showing you guys a little bit more about it now this took me probably Oh, a good half hour to build. I mean, nothing special here. Um, this is the gear gearbox for the main uh, windmill blades. And even though it's covered, it the rain still comes down and breaks this this uh, gearbox. I guess there's just too much stress on it. Um, I put a little bit of a chest here because I was gonna fill it with with uh, gearboxes. Uh, that I've made a few, and I guess I could make a few more. I just need to uh, gather a lot of wood. Um, my wood is actually running quite low right now, so I'm kind of stuck. In the meantime, well, let me show you before you look at this ugly interior. Let me show you the exterior and ask you guys, what do you guys think? I mean, do you like the looks of this? I I kind of like it, you know. The front has to be flat like that. It's un kind of unfortunate. It was kind of roundish shaped all the way up to that point and then flat on the top um, if I made it any higher the blade pops off so not a whole lot I can do with that side with the back side um, looks like that there's my little tiny uh, observation deck if you will so yeah I mean it's not styled perfectly but once I get more unique blocks I might be able to style the outside a little bit better we will see now let's go look at the interior. We haven't done anything to it. You can see that it's still pumping out hemp fibers. Um, I don't really need hemp fibers, but yeah, well, it is what it is. Now what we were going to do today, the problem is that it's very gearbox intensive. Uh, so I'm not quite 100% sure how I'm going to do this. Um, but I want to stick an axle along this side. And then maybe an axle here and a gearbox. Is that right? Let me think here. It should be turned like that. And then downwards. Is that giving power? Yes, it is. Okay, so that the one with the arrows is always input. You learn that pretty quick. Um, one, two, three. And then we can have a gearbox again. And the reason we're making it kind of low like this. Uh, there we go. Is because of something that I want to make. Now, this is obviously going to move in the future. I'll be able to take this power. Very much like any of the kind of Tekkit series. Redstone type. Uh tunnels of power you can basically pipe this anywhere you want if you have enough gearboxes and enough axles so I'm gonna pump it through the ground it'll go down through the ground not right now because I don't have any gearboxes and axles to use up and maybe eventually I'll put like a, a special hut right here and I'll show you guys what that hut is for now to do that, I gotta show you what I have in my inventory. Let me see if I could find. I did a bit of sorting, but it didn't really help me, unfortunately. Um, looking for. I might not have any then. Hmm. Well, we can only do one thing. Let me go look in my special chest. Two of these. Run back getting dark already. Uh, wrong chest, by the way. 
There we go. And we will make a quick sword. We don't have a sword on us. There we go. Now, what I want from one of these cows, and I'm sorry to kill the cows, but... There we go. That's all I wanted. Thank you. We lit it up quite a bit. Like, a lot. So hopefully no baddies will come creeping up on us. It should be okay. Eh. Even if they do. It's not the end of the world. It's just if they get into this chest room, I'd kind of be a little bit upset about that. Let's see, is it one high? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Maybe I'll quickly dig out a bit of a trench just so that they can't get up. This won't take any time at all. And I can make use of these windows now. Okay, loud cows, get out of my way. I'll just uh, block it off with that for now. Spiders can still get through, but whatever. So, we have our two pieces of... How did one cow give me two pieces of leather? It's odd. Okay. Let's... Uh, we're not organized here. Torch. Okay. Back. Don't look, don't look, don't look. You guys have already seen it a few times, probably, but... I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, we put this in here. And look, it actually starts milling it. So what does that give us, you may wonder? Let's stand right here to catch it. I got it. I got one of them. I'll grab the other. Gimme. Alright. Wait, hey. Where did it go? Which one of these did it fall in? No. Yes, okay. So that gave us scoured leather. And what do you do with scoured leather, you may ask? Well, very good question. Let's go grab a certain something, and I'll try to make this quick so that you don't you don't see too much. Uh... <laughs> you guys could always pause it and look, but I'm just going to show you anyway. So here we go. I got poo in my hand, as you can clearly see. Don't can I throw it? No, I can't. <laughs> Why was I trying that out? Okay. Donuts. I'll show you that in a moment too. So I take some of the scoured leather. I can only cook up one right now because I only have one piece of poo. But you throw it into this cauldron, and this is the same cauldron that I have in those rooms. I put some nether rack underneath and lit it on fire, and it cooks away. So when you use up one of these, it turns to tanned leather. Ooh, what's tanned leather? Well, it has some pretty good uses. Let's go run over here, back to our little chest room. Um, throw it in here, and it gives you eight straps. Can I do that just in my inventory? Oh, I can, good. I, I saw some of the pictures only showed it in the crafting table, so I wasn't sure. But yeah, you can do it in your little mini crafting area. Rip it into straps. Okay. And now once it's in straps, you do need the bigger area. I can actually put all the straps together, tie them in a circle, and get a belt. Very, very fancy, isn't it? I think so. So, what do you do with a belt? And here you can see I have a couple belts uh, and lots of straps now. I can actually make two more belts. Um, you see that I have some tanned leather, so I could actually rip that into belts as well. Uh, and look at all the scoured leather. I just need to make some dung for it with with the wolves. I, I just haven't been able to yet, so uh, let's take some of these, turn it to wood. And now... What do we want to do? We want to make... We'll make a good quantity of gears, I think. Let's do like that. And like that. Okay, so we have nine gears. Um, I think the crafting recipe goes... Oh, can't do it quite like that. Now, I don't have the recipe in, in front of me, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to have to kind of play around with it here, see if I can get it. I know it's like that, 
And then two pieces like that, like that, and hey, hey, where's my belt? Or did, did I did I drop it? Did I have? Oh, may, I didn't even take it. Derp. Okay, let's try one more time. I think. Wait, it was like this, like this, and then belt in the middle. Yay! Okay, so this is the recipe, and look what we got. Oh, we're modernizing now. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm not going to place it down here, because it would be useless here. So I'm going to move it into the little mill area where I have this thing sticking out of it. Now, like I said, I'd eventually put this through the ground, drag it along, and the little shack that we'd make over here is maybe a little tiny wood crafting area. Like a sawmill. So, we're going to do that. In the meantime, what we can do is just pipe it like this. I think you need power like that. And then... Whoops! Uh, ooh. Do I... Hey! Have I invented something here? Let me see if it works sideways. I know that you can place it up and down, but I didn't know you could place it sideways. Yeah, I guess, I guess this only sticks through the bottom of it, so sideways it is. Yes! It still works. Perfect. What if I get close to it? I don't want to. Okay, but what did it give us? Birchwood sidings. That's pretty cool, isn't it? They're like half slabs, but not quite half slabs. Very, very awesome. And now, you see what the full potential of this... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Get away from my life. Okay. Oh my god. That is not a good thing to have there. Okay. Big opening for them to jump across. We got some mel melons down there. But anyway, now you see the full potential of this mod. Well, not, not the full potential. This is just the wood... The wood crafting potential. Let me just chew up this melon and get back to this. Now, if I take one of these siding pieces and plunk it on here, bam! It cuts it into even smaller birchwood moldings. Tiny little pieces. Uh, what do they look like? Like that. Can I place them vertically? Yeah. Awesome. So, potentially. Potentially, I could do neat little side corner pieces like that. And that's why I was showing you guys this and saying, you know, eventually I might be able through through the sides here, uh, the corners, I mean, um, kind of dress it up a little tiny bit with maybe these kinds of sidings. Probably not the birch wood, but, well, maybe. We'll see. Okay, so you put those down, turns into... The little siding pieces, you or the molding pieces. Let's see what happens. Can you break them even further? Oh, you can! Oh, this is cool. Corner pieces. I'm guessing that that would be for like... Beep. Yep. Beep. <laughs> Tiny little blocks. Uh, now, of course, my brain is just going a mile a minute seeing these little pieces. Uh, it gives you the ability to make probably uh, little chairs. You can make little table legs uh, with a couple of these stacked up. Oh, the potential for these things. You can make really, really interesting uh, block designs with the small pieces. Can I break them even further? That would be crazy. Oh, wow! What? what? Okay, I've eight now. How many did it give me? Just the two? Yeah, just the two. But that's interesting. Wow. That saves on resources big time. Because otherwise it requires you break, uh, what? Two planks, and then you need a third plank in the middle. So instead of three planks, you use like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a plank to make those little tiny gears. 
and therein lies the beauty of it, you know? What, can I? I couldn't place meat on there. No. What about, will I break it if I put a stone brick? Oh my god, I did! Whoops. Uh, did it give me all the resources back? I hope. The belt, yeah. Okay, well, let's, uh... Whoops. Okay, lesson learned. You cannot overload the saw. Let's, uh, rebuild. It goes like this. Like this. We got lots of gears now. And... What was in the middle? The belt. Okay, we rebuilt it. Don't worry. Oh, this is awesome. This is gonna be awesome. Um, the moment that I port this over to the other place, it'll just be, just be great. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay. Now I wanted to show you guys donuts. Um, very similar to how the, uh, scoured leather turned to tan leather. Um, mind you, we won't use dung this time around. Where did I put those things? Right in here. Uh, do I want all of them? Let's just take a portion of them. Let's go over there. This is really neat how this works. Throw this inside here. You can see it's cooking up the scoured leather in and out. doesn't matter. It's not doing anything. Like I said in previous episodes, this thing will cook everything in here individually. So it can't just cook plain scoured leather. It does nothing in there. You cook one of these, it turns to four donuts. And these donuts, they heal you good. Whoops, did I throw it back? Yes, I did. They heal you good. Can I eat one? Yes. The only problem that I find, uh, you can see that my my hunger bar is pretty full. I think it's full. If not, it's like half a sliver away. I can just keep on munching on these things all day long, getting fat on donuts. You don't stop when you you have reached your hunger threshold. You can just keep eating them. So that's something that I got to maybe watch a little bit. Yeah, it won't be too bad. But man, the flour just generates so many donuts and they do such good restoration for you. Uh, it throws melon away and it throws bread away, everything away. I'm just going to live off donuts now. It's not a healthy lifestyle, but I can't say that I mind it. Okay, Q&A time. It's Q&A time. Now, I got my questions here. Let me just grab them. Okay. The first one is from a Mr. Goldenable. Mr. Gold Goldenable. Goldenable. Golden... I can't, why can't I say that? Mr. Goldenable. Able. Goldenable. Right? Right. His question is, do you prefer the classic games or the newer games? Um... I think that's g pretty general, so I'll say I prefer the classics. It's just personally what I grew up on, so that's why I like the classics. Um, I'm sure that everybody likes being nostalgic, and you will like the games that you grew up with. I don't know what they might be. Um, for me, it was uh, Wolfenstein 3D, which was in 1992. First-person shooter for, for DOS. That was... To me, it's still my all-time favorite game, uh, simply because it's what I grew up on. It's what I learned how to program with. Back in the day, C++ wasn't even around. It was like brand new type of thing. And Wolfenstein was kind of what got me into programming. So, I mean, that kind of game, uh, you had like Hocus Pocus, another DOS game. Uh, then there was the NES, of course. Uh, I put in thousands of hours into Ninja Turtles 2 and oh, just watch my NES series and I go on about it. So I, I always prefer the classic games, just my preference. Um, to me, the new games like Modern Warfare and Halo and uh, the list goes on, they, they're just mindless droning games with no challenge. Um, your average game these days, I will beat. I, I'm not kidding you. Give me 10 hours, no matter what game you have. No matter what game. It could be the biggest MMO you've ever played. Give me 10 hours, and I can get to the end. It's just its just the way that new games are. 
uh, the way that old games were, if you got past the first level, you were a genius. So that's the way that it was, and I liked that, and I still like that. Next question is from Ali Ali Man one He says, do you have a pet? Um, yep, I do. <laughs> Next question. No, I'm kidding. I have a pet. He's a, a little dog, kind of like a Bichon, but he's black, if you know what a Bichon is looks like um, tiny dog and he is pretty amazing dog he takes after my own heart and sleeps all day and pretends that it's hard work <gasps> oh look we found a temple oh this is great good this will make Q&A time pass by very nicely okay oh uh, and my dog's name is Enzo in case you wanted to know anyway uh, next questions, two of them, from Purple Turtle 622 uh, asking, uh, what is your favorite Minecraft mod? Um, you're not going to believe it, but my favorite Minecraft mod that I've played, I mean, I haven't played a lot, I mention that quite often, um, my favorite Minecraft mod is Optifine. I, I can't believe I'm saying that, but think about it. It makes the game run so much better. If any mod should be incorporated into the actual Minecraft, uh, it's Optifine. Now, I know that the makers of this mod, better than Wolves, the makers of Optifine don't quite get along well for whatever reason. But I don't care. I like Optifine. Where, Where is everything? Oh. Ooh, I hear... I hear things. Possibly bad. Yeah, 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 don't fall. Don't go down there! Jeez. I'm scared of something falling on something and blowing everything up. I don't have any torches? Okay, this is going to be very dark for you guys. Uh, but yes, Optifine is the favorite mod. Um, as far as basic mods go, I think this one right now is on my top 10 list. What the heck? I'm in a cave. Okay, let me just break that. Good. Ooh, iron. You guys can't see a lot. I know that it's very, very dark. So I'll try to grab as much as I can and just get out. Aw, oh, no diamonds this time. Crap, oh well. What can you do? And yes, I know there is TNT down there, but I don't want to be in the dark with you guys watching, so... I'll come back for it, as long as I know where this place is. Uh, how do I get out now? Okay, the last question, and then we're going to wrap this video up, uh, is still from Purple Turtle 622 and he asks again, um, how did you come up with the name Poet? Well, it it's not really all that special, um, although I get asked it all the time. I guess because it's a unique name, it's a dictionary word. And uh, people wonder, how the heck did you come up with that? Why? It's not exactly what people think of when they think of something cool, you know, or masculine even for that matter. But uh, in university, I was a literature minor. Um, I took literature for several, several years. And in high school, I used to write oodles of poetry um, it was just, you know, what I did to, when they gave us an essay or something to do, um, rather than write the essay, I would write a poem or something to get the marks. That's just my preference. Poetry to me was always, what that? I was eating the donut well after I had stopped eating it. The sound was off. Interesting. Anyway, poetry to me was always something pretty special it came from the heart I liked writing it it was I was good at it so you know I named myself poet and from there it kind of stuck I've used it since oh I've used it since at least the year 2001 I think so yeah since about 2000 or 2001 maybe even sooner than that I've been using the name so it's with me to stay. <laughs> okay, those are the questions. Hope you guys liked it. 
Let me stop eating because I realized that it doesn't stop on its own and I was just scarfing down donuts for no reason. <laughs> oh, that's going to be an issue. Oh, well. They're easy to make. And look at all the the different wheat pieces. I'll need to make a different farm somewhere. Okay. See you guys next time. I think that's all. Um, as for whether I'm going to do one a week or two a week, still haven't quite decided. I think I'm going to try just one a week today, or this week, and uh, see how I like it, see if I can maybe think about doing another one. We'll see. Um, I know you guys want me to do more, so we'll see. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.